So this idea of living on purpose is really exciting to me and it, it, it emboldens me to want to live on purpose. Mm -hmm. I think about Sally and what she's been teaching me is that a wise woman owns her life and wisdom is not passive, wisdom is active. And so we have to choose to live our lives on purpose. You know, for me, I would let my life sort of go by in a blur and months would go by and then a year would go by and I would think, what happened to my life? I wasn't even an active participant in my own life. And I don't wanna live like that. I wanna live really, really intentionally. I wanna invest in my days. I want to write down what I'm doing in my days and sort of reflect on them. Say, how are we doing, God? How are things going? How are my days? So uh, just wisdom and being active and present in my own life, I think is just some of the greatest encouragement I've received recently. You know, something else that I really realized and it really motivated me. I was thinking about when I meet Jesus face to face, he'd probably say, Sally, what did you do to whisper the secrets of the kingdom of God into the lives of these children so that they will carry on a passionate, vibrant walk with Christ? throughout all the generations. And so I think knowing that you raising godly children is generational. It's a legacy that you leave to your children, your grandchildren, to people way beyond the, uh, where you will ever live. And so I would take all these different days with my kids and when they were playing the piano, I would say, I wonder if you're gonna be a great composer who will write the kind of music that will comfort people or great worship music. Or yeah. I wonder if you're gonna, you're such a great writer. I wonder if you're gonna write books that'll change the course of history. And when we keep the kingdom in mind that Jesus wants us to have this opportunity to put our imprint, to inspire them with kingdom messages, that these are disciples who will go into the world with the messages that want to be passed on to generation to generation. Mm -hmm. That's what it means to live on purpose. That's what it means to understand that this isn't just a choice, this is about doing kingdom of God work. And now my kids, they're all over the world. They're in Oxford, they're writing books, they're in Boston, they're composers, they they're understand that they are this normal person who has the Spirit of God inside of them. And through them, He's going to accomplish great things in their lifetime to bring God's kingdom to bear on their world. Mm. That's pretty exciting to think we get a chance to touch history and eternity because of these wonderful human beings entrusted into our hands.